Scala Implicits. Before you do, I suggest you download Java 8. I'll put these links in the comments. Download Scala, download IntelliJ. Through IntelliJ, install the Scala plugin, and then be sure to bookmark the Scala API in uh, the browser of your choice. Okay, so first we'll uh, try to uh, we'll create a class to run this. Okay, so the equivalent of a, one way to do a main program in uh, Scala, like a, tying it back to Java, is you can extend app. And let's just make sure it works by just doing a quick print line. And hey, we're working. Okay, so let's start out by doing a, create a string. Okay, here I declare a string mark. I can actually just as easily do this, you know, without the string. Scala knows that it's a mark, but hey, I probably left that in there for a reason. So when I call uh, a method on string, let's say take, take two. It's a method that uh, takes the first two characters like in my, this case, mark, and it prints out the MA. But now, what is string? Oops. Okay, string is actually a Java Lang string. And in Scala, in this uh, pre-def, Scala.pre-def class, it's defined as the type string. So string or does not have a method called take on it. So you say, what the heck is going on here? So let's go back there. And we're looking for, there are implicit, uh, implicit definitions in here where you can convert a string to another type of object. So if you see something like that where you know you've got a class where, hey, it doesn't have a method like this on it, if you're not doing any import yourself, or I mean, you might be using a third-party API that might have some implicit stuff in it, but you can search for, if you're just learning Scala, you can start searching in here for like something that converts the string to something else. So you can uh, look for uh, a string. Here. Okay. I'm looking for a method that converts a string to something else. And hey, look at this. Augment string. It, it takes a pre-def string, which is referencing a Java Lang string, and converting it to an immutable string ops. So let's bounce back to, let's bounce to the browser. And look, I've already looked it up, string ops. And string ops has that, uh, I just had it highlighted. It has the, the take method in it. So in order for this thing to work, okay, Scala says s.take2. I don't have a, t a string doesn't have a take method, so is there anything else in my implicit, is my scope where I can convert to an object that has a take method on it? And it, so that's where it gets converted to the, to the string ops. So let's just make a really quick one here. We can do a, let's do a case class, let's call it high string, and it just takes a, takes a string. And it does something like say hi. Okay, so now I can define an, uh, an implicit, I can do it, put a conversion in, I'm sorry, I'll make an implicit definition here that uh, we can call it, use the same convention, augment, augment string, and let's return a high string. Oh, sorry. 
All right, so now we've got an implicit definition that will convert a string to high string. So we can go, actually, let's just call s dot, and look, it shows up in the code inside. That's fantastic. OK, so now we've augmented string with this useless functionality. Now let's try to, uh, let's just talk really quick about the parameters, an implicit parameter. So we can make a method that takes uh, it takes a, let's take it, have it take an int num times and let's have it take an implicit high string. And we can say one, four. So this, you see, there's there's actually two argument lists the first one and then the implicit argument list. This is called currying. Maybe we can discuss that somewhere if there's any interest. So now I, I want to call it, if I call do it a few times with five, okay, I think uh, we should get a failure because there's no, there's a conversion, but there's no, I'm not sure, there's no implicit high string available. So I believe we're going to get an error. Hey, look. Could not find implicit value high string. Okay, so if you believe it hard enough, it'll be true. So let's make a let's do make an implicit high string. Well, this is the conversion. We're done working with that for a minute, and that's just converting like a an implicit conversion that converts one object type to another object type. And so, but this is a, now we're going to talk about the implicit parameters. So now I'm going to put a implicit high string. How about? equals okay so now now let's try to call this and see if we can be successful okay and sure enough we're printing off high bit five times so we're calling this do it a few times with one explicit argument being the integer five and one implicit. And I mean, you could be, you could go nuts. I mean, this is a, just to show that you can, you can call this directly. I'm not gonna try to think of a use case where you can, but uh, so this should uh, give us the same result. All right. So I hope that gives you a starting point for implicits and I will talk to you later. Let me know if you have any questions.